Hello guys! This is one of three videos about difference two panels. Uh, this is Vega Motion and Animator panel for creating animation in the Adobe Photoshop. Cool, let's start. Uh, and this video will talk about only uh, difference between interfaces. Um, animator have eight types of the animation and you will be able to see preview animation for your future object. Cool. Uh, if you want to play animation, you click play. If you want to hide preview animation, just click pause. Okay, in the motion panel we have two tabs. First step is standard. It's shown um, graph of easy function you can select easy function and this standard tab will show you graph of this function cool the live preview window uh, this window built the animation and if you want to add the animation to objects for in the Photoshop, the Photoshop will create exactly at the same pathway as you see on the live preview window. It's, this is a very powerful feature, and of course, you will see your future animation before you add the animation to your object. Cool. You can play with it, a lot of uh, funny animation. Uh, you can play a lot and find a best way for animation to your object. Cool. The animator uh, works on base two ways create about intro and outro of the animation. Intro is the beginning of your animation and outro of course is the end of your animation. The same uh, Vigo Motion has the same um, function, it's add intro and add outro. One big difference is that animator have only four direction if you maybe want to create uh, some move animation to your object. The animator have only four direction, but in Vigo Motion you can easily to animate your object in any point on your document, any point. Uh, and of course, if you want to animate to right side, uh, like on pr live preview window, just set your object, click intro and click motion, create animation exactly on pathway that you see on live preview window. Very cool options for this panel. Uh, but uh, big plus of animator, of course, uh, it have a lot of ready-to-use presets that you can uh, use it. Um, go next. Uh, Vigo Motion uh, has more customizable uh, options for your future animation. Of course, it's an uh, easy function. Uh, you can select from a pop-up window or uh, via drop-down menu. Animator about duration of the animation uh, um, ready to use presets have fixed speed and fixed duration. In the Vega Motion panel, you can set any number any number of the frames. Uh, of the duration and of course you can use fading frames for your animation and of course if you want to change some speed you can search um, for example uh, explore and increase your speed of the animated elements. Cool. Uh, and the Vigamotion 
have another a, a powerful tool like advanced mode with create intro keys and outro keys. If in the animator uh, the final results you can uh, only uh, change the placement and uh, scaling in advanced mode can create unlimited number of the animation in one layer. The animator create three layer intro for example uh, intro that goes the static layer and after you need to create the outro of the animation. Cool. We have three basic layers but in advanced mode one layer have uh, can have unlimited number of the animation. A lot of uh, out of uh, animations cool is scaling, uh, movement, rotation, a very powerful um, tools for advanced users if you want to create some complicated animation for example in prototyping or create more complex logo animation. Cool, uh, these are uh, a main uh, difference uh, between animator and video motion panel. In the next tutorial, we will talk about controllers and uh, creating animation in these two panels, and uh, we will see how it works and what minus maybe uh, 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 cool advantages. Uh, between these two panels. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have some questions, feel free to contact me and I will be glad to help you. Thanks for watching and enjoy!